Here's the view of Jerusalem from my room. We are right downtown at the edge of the old city, just steps from the Jaffa Gate and the thousands of years of history behind it. From there, we ventured onto Mamilla Mall, an open-air passageway that offers upscale shopping opportunities. We're heading for the old city, but are still outside the wall, or should I say walls. In Jerusalem, newer walls have been built alongside or on top of older walls. You see them when you're driving or when you're walking. The most protective walls and city gates were built by the Ottoman Empire in the early 16th century. But predating those were fortified structures such as the Tower of David you see here, also known as the Citadel, that formed part of the wall. Its predecessors dated back to the time of Herod the Great, under Roman rule. Now we approach the Jaffa Gate through the wall into the old city, entering from the west. Again, shopping awaits, but it takes on a less exclusive character. As we prepare to enter the citadel, our Jerusalem guide, Shelley, gives us an overview of the city. Now that we have everything here, we have layers and layers of history, but we have a living city where people live. Jerusalem is um, declared by Israel the capital of the state of Israel. It's the largest of our cities with um, over 900,000 people living here. The old city itself is maybe 40 or 50,000, okay? Most of the people live outside the walls of the city. And it's a city, again, only to the three great monotheistic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The high ramparts of the citadel give us not only an iconic view of the Tower of David, but a sweeping panorama of the historic walled city. As we look to the east, we see a golden dome known as Dome of the Rock. Behind it rises the Mount of Olives. As we turn northeast, we see the gray domes of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Dome of the Rock is atop Temple Mount, which is sacred to Jews. The Dome of the Rock itself and the Al-Aqsa Mosque alongside it are sacred to Islam. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is sacred to Christians. The walls of the citadel we see today were built by Herod 2,000 years ago. Take a look at the remains of a palace he built at that same time. Archaeologists have even found a quarry dated to the First Temple Period, that is, nearly 1000 BC, when King Solomon ruled. Jerusalem is dripping with history, layers of it. We passed the Damascus Gate as we followed the wall around the old city. It was built in 1537, but below it we could see an earlier entrance. We were told it dates back to the time of Roman Emperor Hadrian in the second century AD. <laughs> Truly, Jerusalem is built in layers. Here's a Roman Catholic church, the Church of All Nations, that's perched on the side of the Mount of Olives, next to the Garden of Gethsemane. Its location is significant because that's where they say Jesus prayed before being arrested. Nearby, also on the Mount of Olives, is a large Jewish cemetery containing about 70,000 graves. Legend has it that those who are lucky enough to be buried here will be the first to be resurrected on the day of the resurrection of the dead. As we approached the wall of the old city, we came upon an excavation. Our guide said that we were looking at a ground level from 2,000 years ago. That would coincide with the time of the second temple, which was destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD. But the first and second temples had been located not here, but up on Temple Mount. So that was our next stop. We entered through the West Wall and went upstairs to the courtyard of the Islamic Museum to get oriented. 
Now it's nighttime, and we stroll down the Mamilla Mall to return to the old city for a sound and light show at the Tower of David Museum. Once we enter the Jaffa Gate, the shops beckon, and we can't resist. Finally, we take our seats with a good view of the ancient citadel walls on which the night spectacular will be projected. With rich, booming sound, original music, and colorful, moving images, we are taken through 13 periods of Jerusalem's storied history. And we are reminded of the many cultures, religions, rulers, and legends that have shaped this city for thousands of years. <laughs> 